Well, back into this. Did a lot of work on it. Well, not a lot, but did some work on it yesterday. Didn't film it, but you saw before the intake off and all that stuff. Here's the uh, wiring harness pulled off to the side. There's the PCV valve on these underneath the intake manifold. Good spot for it, idiots. Anyway, the old one was completely gummed up and trashed. So that's new on there now. Took off the water pump. That's an interesting device. Here it is right here. There it is, just an electric water pump. There's the air box and the intake and all that stuff. So <clears throat> there's the crank pulley. So you can take this, start taking this part down here. So I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, so we're just gonna do a little bit of work on it today. Probably take off the EGR and the valve cover, and that'll probably be it. So let's do it. Remember this guy? Here he is again. I left the EGR valve on this time with his tube of coolant. Let's go right there for now, you're fine. More room to access things. Kick this out of the way. All right. I guess before we take the valve cover off, probably unbolt the exhaust header since that's behind there. And if I put my hand there, I'd rather have my hand on the valve cover instead of all the parts underneath. So this guy's next, so yay. I was a little worried about this back bolt on the heat shield. The front tube came off easy. It was already broken. So, all right, sweet. Now we can see the uh, manifold down there. All right, there's five nuts on here. Got all those out. Have to do it blind because you can't see because the windshield sticks out too far. Um, then there was a bolt right there. That's a support bolt. Pulled that out. Now this is loose, so it's not gonna get stuck now. I guess we'll do the uh, valve cover gasket next. Or I'm sorry, the valve cover. This monstrosity. This is the passenger engine mount. Had to go underneath the car to get this guy that points down here. The rest of it's all up top. Had to take out the coolant tank, which is now there. All right, this is where I'm going to stop for tonight. See the motor mounts off. Pulled the back half of the uh, water pump assembly thing with coolant hoses bolt to. I got that off the. The unit there because it's all looks like it's all one piece with the timing chain case so that's off the exhaust is not bolted on anymore the motor mounts out the other bracket of it is off there and last I threw some paint on this to make it a little easier to see there you go there's the timing mark that's on the crank pulley that lines up to the timing chain case so next time we're gonna put this on line it up and then we have to take out the timing chain tensioner before we take out the timing chain case so that'll be next time unrelated to that Prius here's the Prius C you can see now I installed a hitch with the wiring kit so now this can pull the little trailer which uh, we also rebuilt. We put in new wood in the inside. I put a spare tire mount on it. So this car is gonna pull this trailer when we need to go get things that you don't wanna put inside the car. Stuff I used to use a truck for, 
to carry, well, here we go. Fuel efficient and only when I need it. So yeah, adding the hitch was pretty easy. It bolts on underneath here. I don't think you really see it, but where the bumper brackets are. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's all on and excellent now. So you can also use it with the cargo basket. So yeah, good stuff. Sorry, it's a shorter episode today. I got to take one of my parents into Chicago tomorrow and I'm going to be out there all day. So I didn't feel like putting in a bunch of hours. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.